What is up, my friends? We're back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my weekly vlogs. I'm so excited that I am vlogging again. I missed you guys so much. Obviously, so much has happened since my last vlog. I had a baby. I had my little boo. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. You'll meet him in this vlog. He's literal perfection. He's an angel. He is such a good baby. I am seven weeks postpartum right now. Today is Tuesday, but I was seven. he was seven weeks on Saturday. So whatever, seven and a half weeks. And I'm finally like feeling like myself coming out of the craziness that was labor, the end of pregnancy, labor, and the first few weeks postpartum, absolute insanity. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. All of my last, like, I don't know, actually all of my vlogs for the last, like, actually I think forever, all the vlogs I've done, I think my first vlog was, like my first recent vlog was telling our families that I was pregnant. So I, captured my entire pregnancy and just like life for those nine months if you are pregnant and you're looking for some like relatable stuff you want to learn check out those vlogs it, it might make a little more sense to my new vlogs because now I have a baby he'll obviously be appearing on my channel every so often and Ethan I'm in the south end right now I just got lunch with my friend Brittany it was so nice to see her I haven't seen her in so long so I've been coming into the city just to like you know do work stuff, see friends as much as I can because I do miss it, but we're now officially in New Hampshire. So, so much has changed. I'm so excited to be back and have you guys here. Thanks for being patient and bearing with me. My last, like, I don't know, however many, like maybe five to 10 videos have all been videos I pre-filmed. So I'll be back doing vlogs, skincare, lifestyle stuff. Anyway, I just have so much to tell you guys. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit, but I just wanted to say hi and I'm so happy to have you back. Look who it is. Say hi, Boo Boo, Mr. Logan. Say hi. <laughs> he just ate, so he's a happy boy. So I think we're gonna give the boy a bath. He loves the bath because we decided he's a little stinky. And Ethan really likes to bathe him a lot. I want to keep his baby smell. Like bathe him more? Yeah, you would bathe him more than me. I bathe him when he needs to be bathed. Yeah, he does need to be bathed. I'm not arguing that, but I just want to keep his newborn smell as long as humanly possible. But he gets stinky from like milk getting caught and he like sweaty. he sweats. Cheese neck. Cheese neck. He poops on himself. So we try and do it at least once a week for now. I know we'll probably start. I mean, doing the wipes it. we use are just. You need to get clean. You need to get clean. You want to get in the bath? You want to get in the bath, kid? <laughs> this is his best mood when he's just eating. He's chilling. He's not quite tired yet. So he'll probably take a bath and then he'll take a little nappy. In the vlog this week, I'm gonna tell you guys about the snoo. I wanted I wanted to dedicate like an actual vlog to all of our thoughts on it because we have so many thoughts and our thoughts have changed like from when we first started using it to now and I just wanna share as much as I can with you about it. Do you like it? So I will share that this week. Do you like it? Okay, let's go get in a bag. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> We're using this brand right here. It's called So Kind. We've been using it for all of his baths. This is the Velvety Droplets bath oil. So we put that right in the bath with him. And then that's the shampoo, right? Yeah. And body wash. Body wash and shampoo right here. And he loves it. Super gentle, really good ingredients. Smells so, so good. Good job, boy. Mean boy. Do you want to go rinse your head off? Huh? <laughs> We love the bath. Yeah. Talk to me. So, I just fed Logan. I want to show you a couple more So Kind products. They have the newborn stuff that I showed you, but they also have some amazing pregnancy stuff that I lived on like at the end of my pregnancy. So, the Reviving Body Lotion is so, so nice. Just like I told you guys, really good ingredients, like feels really luxe. And then this is the Nourishing Belly Sheet Mask, which if you're pregnant and you haven't done a belly sheet mask yet, do it. It's so good. It just feels amazing, but it's also really good to help with stretch marks, dry skin, 
in and like I said, it's just like, it's a really nice moment. So I think what I'll do is show you guys his sleep for tonight, tomorrow. It's really cool with the snoo, it gives you a full breakdown of how long he slept, when it was soothing, I'll show it to you tomorrow. So we'll see how he does tonight, but honestly for the last like week or two, this has been our schedule and it's really nice because we can get like good chunks of sleep. So I'll check it with you, in with you tomorrow on that and I'll probably tell you a little bit, probably like get really into like all the stuff about this new tomorrow. See you then. What's up guys? So I just got out of my workout class. I did the mega formers. You know, those like reformer, like slidey Pilates machines. They are so crazy. Like it's such a hard workout, but it's like the slowest movements. It's so, so hard, but so good. I think it's like my new favorite type of class. So today I have a ton to catch up on. I didn't get a ton of work done yesterday. It was just, I don't know. It ended up being one of those days. I don't really know why. I think, I feel like I did like mostly work on my phone. I need to like sit down at my computer and do work today. So I'm gonna do that. And then I, what else am I gonna do? Oh, Ethan wants to go register the car. I don't know if we're gonna have time for that today. That might need to be a tomorrow thing. Cause I feel like I have so much to do. And I want to talk you guys through the snoo. I promise that's happening. I might do a little unboxing as well today. Cause I have a bunch of PR that has come in that I have not gone through. So that's my plan for the day. I'm wearing my We Wore What set. It's so freaking cute and comfortable and I love it. I actually, she had a little sample sale yesterday and I got another pair of just black leggings, which I'm pumped about because like I said, this shiz is good quality. It just feels really nice, super cute. Anyway, that's my plan for today. This is what my work setup looks like. <laughs> He's just staring at the monitor. <laughs> I can't see him over my laptop. He's up there. So we just put him right here. Hi, hey buddy. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep, please. <laughs> okay. So I just finished up some of my work. Boy just came out of the snoo and I thought this would be a good time to talk to you guys about our thoughts, our review. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? This has been like such a question and we have so many thoughts and I feel like our thoughts have changed over the last two months. Like I felt one way about it at the beginning and now I kind of feel another way. I'll start off by saying like when we first got it, look at him. When we first got it, I didn't love like putting him in there. I felt like, I mean, you guys have seen it. I just showed it. He, you look, he looks like he's in a straight jacket when he's in there. And I remember like the first night, we maybe we put him in there and he started making his like gurgly mucusy sounds, which apparently a lot of newborns do. It's totally normal. And I was like, get him out. I hate this. I hate this thing. And we just halo swaddled him. And he was halo swaddled in the hospital for the first five days. So that was like a little bit of a transition for us to go from that to this new. But as he's gotten older and we, ha we don't have to feed him as frequently as you as we did at the beginning we have really loved it like it has saved us or increased our amount of sleep we think significantly so i want to show you like for example last night so i have a little snoo app right here so it gives you a little review of how he sleeps the blue is his sleep time the red is the soothing time and then the white is when he's not in it so let me just screen record this and i'll have i'll put it up on the screen so you can actually see so we put him in at like 11 ish last night and he woke up a little bit at 1 45 this new pops on and soothes him for like this says like a minute and then he fell back asleep until three <laughs> which is amazing because that's like another two hours right there. Then I was like, I don't think he's hungry. I think he's just fussing. So at three, when I started to hear him, I manually turned this on and it soothed him for another like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And he fell asleep again till four. And then same exact thing happened and he slept again till five. So I didn't actually get out of my bed until five to feed him, which is six hours for us in between feeds, which is honestly amazing. So. That's happened multiple times. That's like what happens now every night, it seems Sometimes like. it only need to soothe him once. Like last night was kind of the exception lately. Yeah. He's usually been getting up like once in the middle of the night around three. And it just, he just gets annoyed and like fussy in his stomach and Yeah. Gassy. He has a hard time like pooping and farting in there. So. You'll hear him squeezing and then you'll hear him yeah. fart. And then this thing kind of kicks up because he's fussing. And 
it puts him right back to sleep. So, so this is the night before, which is a better example of like how it's been. Yeah. We put him in at midnight. He woke up at 4.38. <clears throat> it soothed him till five, and then he slept till 5.50. So we got an extra hour. And like yeah. when you're only sleeping four or five hours a night, like an extra hour is it, gold. It's consistently giving us at least an hour or two extra yeah. every night. Like last night, it, and then we would have gotten up if we didn't have this, you would have gotten up at 1.45. Right, exactly. To feed him, or at least, even really or hungry. just soothe him. That's the thing. Like, I feel like a lot of new parents, like when they hear their baby, they're like, "All right, he's probably not gonna fall back asleep unless I pick him up, walk him around." And to be honest, that's how I was the first couple nights. That's how we had him in it because he would be crying, and I would just be like, "I need to go get him." Yeah. And it's kind of this <clears throat> hurdle you got to get over to just let him fall back asleep because this thing does. Yeah. But it's a little freaky seeing him shake especially when it turns it up. It does, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it has different settings. I think you guys know that, but like, so when the clips are engaged, it starts off with just like he's calm and it slowly rocks him. And then as he fusses or as we want, it adjusts. So it'll be like, Logan's calm. And then I'll say like, Logan is soothing or we're soothing yeah, Logan soothing or something. Logan, yeah. And like Ethan said, it like it speeds up a little bit and the it sound changes. Yeah. Um, we have the motion limiter on just because I don't like how much, like without the motion limiter, it really, really shakes. Yeah. So the motion limiter just goes up only two more levels in terms of motion, but it's still, the sound gets as loud as it would if the, you know, right. the sound still gets progressively louder. We're used to his noises now too. So it's much easier to leave him in there the extended period of time than it was at the beginning when we were like freaking out about every single noise, which I feel like most new parents are. So the other thing I wanted to mention is initially we were just putting him in there with his onesie. We did even footy pajamas. Yeah, we put like footy pajamas on him because we, you know, we sleep and it's like 70 yeah. in here and he gets cold very easily. So what we started doing was, I guess you could say like double swaddling him. I'll just show you. So the snoo swaddle, well, it's the technically sleep, a swaddle. The sleep sack, sleep as sack. they call it, it's mesh on the legs so it's right it's, breathable it's, it's breathable but when the air is blowing our air conditioning like when the air comes on if he's getting you know, right with the air, vent yeah. it bothers him especially on his body so yeah. we noticed that like whenever he would wake up it would be during the time that the air was kicked on mm -hmm. um and blowing on him so we started just taking a muslin blanket or this one i actually think he likes this one yeah more. so this one was when if we were just if the temperature was at 72 and he doesn't need to be as warm in his footies but when we want it, because we get really hot. Right. Uh -huh. We both run so, really hot at night. Like when the temperature is 72 and the air is not on, it's really hot in our room. So if we go down to 70, we started putting it at him in this like fleecy blanket. Yeah, it's just soft. Soft right? blanket. It's space, yeah. So it's just swaddle his arms down and then you put him in and strap these things over and he stays really, really warm. I'll try and get some footage tonight of exactly how we do it when we put him in there. But it's it has honestly been a game changer. At first, like I said, I wasn't sure it was worth it because I was hesitant. I didn't love putting him in there at the beginning, but now the last like three, four weeks, probably three weeks, I just think it's absolutely a game changer for sleep. And he's only, he'll be eight weeks Saturday. So we still have a lot of time that we're gonna keep him in the bassinet. So don't be sad. Uh, the other thing is like today he's been particularly fussy and not really sleeping i had to get some work done so we put him in there just a little bit ago and it rocks him right to sleep it doesn't always work sometimes he's just not having it but when we've like exhausted all our other options we've walked around with him <laughs> when he's just not cooperating it's nice to have another option to just put him in there so i feel like that's everything Oh, the peace of mind. Like Ethan loves putting him in there because he feels like he's so, so safe in there. And the peace of mind that you get, I, which I totally agree, is really, really nice. So I think overall it's it was totally worth it for us, but it did take me time to get to the point where I was like, okay, I love this thing. I remember at the beginning I was like, this thing is not worth it. Like this is not doing anything for us. He has to eat, so I need to feed him because I feel bad. He's not happy. He's getting changed right now. He's screaming. So I'm gonna go um, feed him. Let me know if you guys have qu other questions about this new that I can answer in the comments, but that's our general overall feeling as of now. We really do love it. I think that's all I have to say. Little peanut. What's up guys, it's Friday. I think we're headed over to my brother's house to hang out with my nieces, get a little 
kickstart head start on the long weekend I haven't made the bed yet but that's cool it's cool i had some questions about if i'm breastfeeding and like how that's been going for me so i wanted to spend just a second talking a little bit about that because it has been quite the journey so i'll give you the quick version of the story so basically when logan was born he was born with a tongue tie i had no clue what that was like, I feel like no one ever told me about that. I had never heard like that that was a thing. I also learned apparently there's tongue tie, there's like cheek, like like the tongue can be attached to the cheek and the lip. So tongue tie, what Logan had was like the thing underneath your tongue, like that thing was attached to the front of his tongue. So he almost had like a heart shaped tongue, like strawberry shaped. So when they have that, they have a really hard time latching. So we had to use a nipple shield for pretty much the whole time I was breastfeeding, the whole time at the hospital. And then we got the procedure. And I was hoping once he got the procedure, he'd be able to latch without it, but he wasn't. I was a little frustrated at first, but I was like, you know what? If we have to use the shield, it's not the end of the world. It really wasn't a big deal for me. And I had talked to a bunch of other people who told me that they breastfed the whole time with a nipple shield or that their baby just kind of like weaned themselves off it, not to worry about it. So that's kind of what I did I decided like I'm not even gonna try anymore because I felt so bad trying to take it away from him because it wasn't his fault that he had to learn on it and he would get so frustrated because he couldn't latch and he was just so hungry and I was like this isn't even worth it so the other day like I think it was last week maybe this week or last week he are you trying to come out <laughs> okay he didn't come out <laughs> hold on Okay, as I was saying, I think it was last week. I, uh, I had, it had been a while since I fed him. So I was like ready to go. If you're if you breastfeed, you know what I mean? Like my boobs were ready to feed him. He was screaming, crying, and we didn't have a nipple shield clean. We like are always cleaning them, which is a part of it that makes it a pain in the ass. We didn't have one clean. So Ethan was like feverishly cleaning one. And he was like, while I'm cleaning this, just try and put them on without it. And I did, and he latched and it was magical. Like I immediately started crying. I was so just, proud of him and I just couldn't believe like I felt like I was actually breastfeeding not that when you're breastfeeding with a shield you're not actually breastfeeding that's not what I mean at all but it was just like this thing that I had been worried of not worried about but thinking about for eight weeks and he finally just did it on his own it was amazing he's been still in the background of this so I wanted to share that story just because I know so many people struggle with breastfeeding and if you are using a shield and you feel discouraged about it that's my that was my experience that's our story with it and he has latched ever since it hurts a lot more so I'm like needing to toughen up like I feel like I'm starting from scratch almost but that's okay I'm just really happy that he's latching and it's just like one less step when I'm breastfeeding we're feeding him also a bottle so Ethan will give him a bottle in the morning oh and then I do have to pump every time he feeds with a bottle just to like let my body know that I fed him so anyway I just wanted to share that's kind of where we're at things are going well as of now but it was definitely a challenge at the beginning let me show you guys what I got in PR okay so LaRoche Posse I'm sure I'm butchering that they sent over a bunch of goodies thank you so much for sending this over I love this already this brand I'm not sure if it's Nia or Naya but they sent over a little sweat set this little brown cropped hoodie with some matching joggers those are already in my closet who doesn't love a good sweat set okay jason woo beauty sent over a cute little bundle right here i actually don't know this brand very well so i'm intrigued let me know if you guys have heard of this brand bliss sent over a little acne line so these are sweet giorgio armani sent this package I already took one of the lips out to try it out but this is their lip power line so it's a satin lipstick honestly amazing that they sent this it's so cool okay so tezza sent over this really cute collage kit i am contemplating like trying to figure out what to do with these if i should actually use it as a collage or if i should just pick out some of my favorites and like frame them i'm just like not the most artistic person when it comes to this sort of thing so i'm just not sure what i should do if you guys have ideas let me know but i just think those are adorable so that's a wrap for this week you guys thanks so much for watching let me know if you have any other questions about you know pregnancy stuff that I had didn't cover in the vlog this week other than the birth story because that will be its own video I went through the footage and it's really emotional and cute just the couple of clips that we got from the hospital I'm just so glad we have them so I'm planning to make that its own video because we already have a lot and the whole story is like a whole thing I want Ethan and I to tell it because it's just like it was a lot so I'll be sharing that very soon we'll probably film that next week hopefully and we'll get that up for you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you next week bye mm. This boy makes the funniest faces when we put him in the car seat. <laughs> like he's scared. <laughs> but you like it in here. You did. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you think? Are you gonna fall asleep for us in the car? You little perfect man. <laughs>